What's going on everybody? Uh, thanks for clicking on Midwest Van Life. So this video is gonna be kind of like a little update video of what I got going on and um, I shot some footage of installing a CB radio base station with my buddy Keith over at Michael's house. You guys you guys know them, Michael and, Michael and Charlie and Keith and all them. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk about some upcoming projects that I got coming up with the van and just some other stuff, some travels we got kind of planned. And um, and then I'm going to, I shot some footage of us installing it and that was like a month ago, I don't even know. It was a while ago and I never really made a video about it. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna play that footage on this video for you guys just to see how we installed the CB radio base station. It's very similar on a vehicle, it's just all 12 volt basically. But um, anyways, I'll get to that in a minute. So, some projects I got coming up in the van. One project is I am thinking about getting into solar. And the thought was to, uh, I've also gotten into welding kind of heavy. I'm really going like into, going into, I'm taking classes, I'm getting into welding. I love it, it's fun. So I want to build a roof rack for the van. And my thought was to, Either use steel and just make a simple frame and bolt it up there. There's actually on the tr Ford Transits, there's uh, points, little rubber things you got to pull off and there's actual threads. So I'm either going to do that or I'm going to try to do something with aluminum, which would be a little more expensive, but it's lighter and would probably be just overall better. Um, but I already have the steel, so it's easy to do that. I'm not sure what I'm going to do quite yet, but I know I'm going to be doing something. And what I would like to do is get some solar panels up there. I'm thinking about starting at like maybe 200 watts of solar. And then uh, eventually here getting a 12 volt cooler. So I know everybody is, everybody talks big about the Dometic coolers, which they are awesome. But man, they're expensive. They're like $1,200 for the size that I would need. So I'm thinking there's there's tons of them and I've been watching YouTube videos and reviews on all sorts of different ones. Granted, the Dometic is definitely the best and that's like the main brand, but there are tons of other brands out there that apparently work just as good. So we'll see. I'll play around with that once I get uh, once I get to some solar because I don't want that thing draining my batteries. Without solar, I think it would drain the batteries. With solar, it'll probably be just fine. So work has been a little slow. Um, I've been back from Oklahoma for a little well, over a month now and I've only done a couple jobs here and there a couple motorcycle jobs I've um, been doing that and yeah I've just been having a hard time finding the motivation to get the camera out and start rolling so uh, that's why this video is gonna be a little bit of an update video and I'm gonna try to get more videos out my goal is to get one video out per week at least minimum and if I miss a week, then I gotta get at least two the next week. And so on and so on. Uh, I've been kind of slacking, so I've got to keep this going. Um, let's see, let's see, what do I need to, I gotta start writing this stuff down because I think about things I need to say. So, okay, CB radio. I highly recommend if you're in a van life to get a CB radio, especially if you are traveling a lot. You could jump on channel 19 and that's like the trucker channel on the highways jump on channel 19 on your cb radio and you will always have um there'll always be truckers just about everywhere on the highways so on my way back from oklahoma i was driving and for the hell of it i just went yeah channel 19 radio check by the way and cb radios you never say channel 19 radio check you always say out the the number 19 same thing in aviation they do that so it's more clear Anyways, channel 19 radio check, and I had a guy respond to me, and uh, we were having a conversation, and I asked him, like, so what, what mile marker are you, you know, because we figured out we were heading northbound on the same highway, and uh, turns out he was eight miles behind me. Eight miles behind me. On my way out to Pittsburgh, I was doing a job a while ago, I got seven, a guy that was uh, seven miles behind me. I got eight and we were talking loud and clear. I couldn't believe it. Now, now granted, it was an open highway. There was no obstructions, but uh, overall it was, it was beautiful. 
I was like, wow, I can't believe it. And the guy's like, oh, yeah, yeah, you can get some good distance on these radios when it's open like this. And, well, so, Anyways, CB radios are pretty cool. Uh, my buddy Keith and I got into them. He actually got into them more than I have. He's been, you know, he's teaching me stuff. So uh, definitely check out some CB radio stuff. There's a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff to learn about them, and they're definitely handy uh, on the road. So, anyways, check out this footage of us uh, installing it, uh, the one on the base station. Check it out. What are you trying to do? It's supposed to be about 50 feet, is, is what it says for best uh, performance. So that's 12 feet. That was 13 feet. 25 feet right there. You know? And then it goes up. I don't know. How, how high is that pole? What was that? A that's 10 a 10 foot? foot pole. All right, well, that's 10. So 25, 35, plus a little extra. Call it 40 on the inside. I'd say we got we got about 50. You know, seems to be working all right. So Keith found um, a vintage uh, CB radio in his storage unit. I guess he had who who was it? it was Monk, your Uncle Mike? Ah, somebody. I forget where I got it from. Well, he had like three of them. He had this one that we just mounted here, and then he had this little guy. Right, right, right there. Right, right, right there. This little guy right here. Anyways, I think it'd be cool to put one in the back of the van with a selector switch, so that way I can just be sleeping and he could drive by and be like, "Hey, Jag off, what are you doing?" Anyway, so we mounted the CB radio here, and this thing is meant for like a truck. So what you need is a 12 volt source. So we got one of these little these little boxes here. Basically, wires it. You wire it up hot negative and it just turns 110 to 12 volt so that's simple enough so we got a hundred foot cable which was way too much what would you say 75 feet would have been 75 better Five feet 50 feet, would feet have been 50 fine. 50 feet probably would have been fine so um charlie the other day or like i don't know, like a week ago pointed out this hole here we had to drill it out a little bit to make it bigger so we ran the cable i'm gonna go around the back of the uh garage here and show you oh boy oh boy so there's the other side of the hole right up there and we just ran the cable along the uh, conduit here all the way to the end around there it is and we just it was so long so we basically looped it back and forth because on CB radios they told us not to coil it of course, that's exactly what I did in my van when I put my CB radio and I coiled it, made it all nice. But then I found out you're not supposed to do that, so I had to change it. But anyways, we ran it there, and right up there is the antenna. That antenna is what, what I, I would say 30 feet up there, maybe. So it's pretty cool. Um, we just did a bunch of testing, and I didn't get too much on footage of putting this whole thing together, and that's just because we were putting it together. So. You know, when I'm doing projects, a lot of times I kind of forget that I need to be filming things. But it's kind of hard to film things and do it at the same time. I need a cameraman. So, anyways, we drove around and did a bunch of testing. I jumped in the van and I went down the street. We got about mile, mile and a half radius with the uh, with this CB uh, antenna. And that's good enough for us. That's pretty cool. So now I could be just driving by and just be like, hey, anybody there? Anybody uh, in the garage? Didn't somebody there. So that was us setting up the uh, CB radio at Michael's. Uh, that's just a base station. Um, yeah, it's been pretty cool. Every time I go through Lombard, uh, I go on cha our channel, which is 37, and I'm like, hey, channel 37 radio check, anybody out there? And I never get anybody. <laughs> it's all about timing. They have to be in the garage, the thing has to be on, 
you know, it's all about timing, but uh, we've gotten about, I would say a mile and a half to two miles in the Lombard Villa Park area, the radius ish. It, it, it kind of varies because there's buildings everywhere. So, um, and that, that antenna there is, it's not very high. It's only like 25 feet up in the air something like that. I don't know. But uh, let me show you guys what I have in the van. So here's my setup. I have a Cobra 29 LTD Classic. And then what I did is I mounted my antenna right here. I've got the Trucker 2000, Wilson Trucker 2000. And that just sticks way up there. So uh, that antenna was recommended by my buddy Colin, which is Keith's brother. And it's been working great. I've been pretty happy with it. That does stick higher than the van, but it's a whip. So like if I go in a, um, uh, a drive through, it does hit whatever's on top, but it just bends. It just, it's no, so no damage or anything. Um, yeah, uh, again, they're worth having in the van, man. Oh, another thing I was thinking about doing, I'm not sure if I'm going to do it. Um, I'd like to get a smaller, uh, base station CB radio like this one but smaller I found them for like 40 bucks on Amazon and I want to have one on the back hooked up to my battery bank system and the reason for that is that one could just stay on and I they, they do have uh, selector switches for the antennas so ideally what I'd like what I'd love to see happen is I'm driving blah 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 this radio is working I could talk whatever and then I stop somewhere and I turn off the engine, I go in the back, but my other radio is still on. Now, the problem is you can't, they have splitters for the uh, uh, antenna. The problem is after doing some research, you cannot have two radios on one antenna at the same time. It doesn't, it doesn't work. What you have to do is have a selector switch, kind of like my uh, power source selector, very similar thing. Um, it's one antenna and there's just a little selector switch Now I can do that and I can just mount the selector switch somewhere So that way when I'm in the back I hit the switch and now that and now that radios or now Yeah, now that radio is working on this antenna and that one's on consistently uh, the problem I have with that is I Don't like the idea of having to hit a switch because knowing me I will forget I would like it to be like, it'd be kind of cool if it was an automatic thing, like maybe maybe some type of 12 volt relay, kind of like how I have set up on my inverter, somehow switches the two, so that way when I turn off my engine, it's through that, it automatically does it, that would be cool. Um, but I'm not sure how that would work, I'd have to do a little more R&D, but these are just ideas, I'm sure there's a way to do it. Uh, just ideas if anybody knows anything about CB radios comment on this and let me know if there's something I'm missing or if there's a way to do it or even send me a link whatever you know but anyways yeah that's it for the CB radios and uh, yeah so I think uh, I think I'm gonna cut this video out thanks for watching again get a CB radio in your van totally worth having uh, especially if you're traveling with somebody else or even if you're um, just by yourself. It's just traveling uh, and being on channel 19, talking to truckers. I had conversations with them and it's it's just cool. So anyways, all right. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, share, subscribe. Keep it simple. Keep it real. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. One more thing. I almost forgot. I also got one of these handheld Cobra CB radios. And okay, real quick. This thing... Do not depend on getting anything with distance. This is literally good for maybe a half a mile, if that. I'll tell you where it does come in handy, though. When you are backing up a trailer, like a boat, into a, a launch or just anything, and the vehicle has a CB radio, this is great for like, all right, keep coming, keep coming, all right, cut it to the left. That's what these are good for, and that's literally it. But um, yeah, they do come with uh, a cable. This is just a BNC uh, input. So you, you could get better antennas. You could get a little cable and a magnet thing that goes on top, and it'll be better. But overall, these little uh, 
these little ones, mm, they're not great. They're not, they're nothing like what we have, but they're good for backing people up. They're good for testing and they're just nice to have. So uh, yeah, pick up yourself one of these two and just have it in the van just as a little thing to have. So anyways, okay. Now, thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Take care. Um, I just noticed this. What did I do? Looks kind of funny. I think I'll leave it there. <laughs>